Michaela Renava alongside Marcus Omard and Marcus a few weeks ago you talked to us about the race for Champions League places in England's Premier League where do things stand now with just a few games remaining well right now it's still uh, exceptionally tight it's a four horse race for two spots uh, Chelsea and Tottenham already have theirs wrapped up so right now we're looking at Manchester United Arsenal Manchester City and Liverpool going for uh, two spots and they're separated by just five points with uh, three games to play two in Liverpool's case well now Man United has two chances to qualify walk us through those scenarios well Manchester United um, they're still in the race for the top four they're currently in sixth but um, they can with, with a few results if things go their way they can qualify through their league position but what they really seem to be going for right now is going through the Europa League which is uh, European soccer's secondary tournament. The winner of that gets a spot in the Champions League, which is the primary tournament. And uh, Man United is putting, they seem to be putting all their eggs in that basket. Uh, maybe if they finish fifth or sixth, they'll be okay with that as long as they get in next season's Champions League. All right, well, I have a question for you. We were just bantering about how, uh, before we started rolling here, about how American sports, they end their season, it culminates with playoffs, a championship. We like our hardware here in America, but not, not the case with the Champions League. So why is it so important to qualify? Well, it's really two things. Uh, the first is prestige. It's European soccer's elite competition. Uh, the best players, the best teams, all the attention. It's like the lights of the world turn to certain games during the Champions League. So you want to be there. It helps you sign better players and uh, it, you know, it makes your brand that much more attractive. But on top of that, it's money. Uh, your teams make a lot of money by reaching the Champions League. Uh, last year, I think on average it was around 65 million US that goes into the club's bank accounts that can be used for all sorts of things, including signing better players. So uh, it's really, it's like the promised land of European soccer. If you're not in the Champions League, you're kind of out in the wilderness. So um, really from those aspects, they want to be in it. And uh, who knows, maybe if things go their way, they could win. All right, well, you know what? That makes sense to me. Marcus, thanks so much. Make sure to keep it on Nesson.com for all your soccer news.